We here at A1WebsitePro.com know that time equals money. If you do not have time to watch or perform the following tutorial, you can always hire us to do it. If we do not start your job within one business day, then you get it at half the price. We hope the following tutorial is helpful to you. Please like and subscribe and comment below. Hello everyone, this is Max with AwebsitePro.com with another uh, AWS Amazon tutorial. So if you're going to be hosting your website on Amazon, this is the tutorial to watch. The, we, I made some other tutorials on this, but they kind of changed things around, so I'm making another one. So uh, I created this account last night, and you create the account the same way as you do in my other tutorial. Uh, if you uh, you could just look search Amazon on AvonWebsitePro.com, the tutorial will show up. It's video and written instructions. However, um, I'm going to do a refresher course on this because they changed kind of a few things here, so you might not be able to find them. Um, one of the things that you want to make sure of whenever you first create the account is up here. Whenever you select area, choose the area closer to you. And I'm kind of close to Ohio and PA here, so I'm choosing Ohio. Now, you could, what we're going to do is launch the C2 instances. Now they have a wizard. If you click on that, you could just go through this wizard. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to go over here where it says services, and we're going to select EC2. All right, and this will give us our layout that we're used to seeing over here on the left. All right, so let's, let's, let's start off by making a security group. Okay, and there's one in here already. Um, you know, it's the default security group, and it gives you your inbound tab, your outbound tab, and your tags. So we could go ahead and edit this one, or we could create a new security group. So I'm going to create a new security group, and we'll just call the security group name Website Access. Uh, description to access websites. Okay. Leave the VPC the same. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and start adding some rules here. Uh, number one, the HTTP request. We need to have that, and we want to be able to access it from anywhere. Let's add another rule, the SSH rule, because this is what we'll be using a lot. And uh, we could actually make it just so that, you know, only your IP can access it via SSH. But since I'm on a satellite, I'm going to use anywhere. Okay. We're going to add another rule, HTTPS. Okay. We're going to let it be accessed anywhere. And we, we're going to need a database with this. So we're going to go MySQL Aurora. And uh, we can just leave that set to my IP. And I believe that's all we're going to need to create a website. Now, it, these other rules here, custom TCP rules, UDP, ICMP rule, and all these other ones, I mean, we, we may have a need for that later. For instance, if we were going to do a POP3 account for email or IMAP, you know, these different uh, POP3 secure, uh, so on and so forth. But we're not going to add that. We're just going to have these minimal options here. And I'm going to click Create. I may have to adjust maybe this HTTPS or so on whenever I create my EC2 instance. Okay, now notice I have my group name website access. Okay. So let's go ahead and create an instance. An instance is where we set up the server. So we're going to go ahead and click Launch an Instance. We're going to scroll clear down to the bottom here, the Ubuntu Server 14.04. Okay, we're going to go ahead and select that. All right, and we want the free tier. You know, so we don't have to pay for it right now. Just want to get familiar with things. Okay, and let's make sure everything looks good here. Now, 
Notice how this is using the uh, default security group name. We can edit the security group here. Select an existing and we'll do our website access. Okay, we have all these. So let's go ahead and click review and launch. Okay, let's click launch. Now, I don't have a key pair, so I'm going to have to make one. So we're going to create a new key pair, and I'm just going to call this uh, uh, Haximus Websites. Okay. Or you know what? I just want to keep it short. Just call it Maximus. And we're going to download this key pair. Now, this is very important that you save this to your computer. All right. And you do not, you know, lose it. So I'm going to go to desktop and uh, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call this Amazon. I'm going to have to navigate to that folder to get this uh, file. Okay. So I downloaded maximus.pem. Okay. And let's go ahead and launch this instance. Okay, so now the instance is now launching and it's getting ready to um, be live. If I click on this right now, now you want to keep track of these instances and instance IDs. Okay, it's running but still initializing. While that's initializing, I'm going to come down here and click on Elastic IPs. Okay, so I need to allocate a new address. Are you sure you want? Yes, allocate. Okay, now I get this IP. Okay, I want to copy that and save it. All right. Now the next thing I want to do while I'm down here in the Elastic IP is I'm going to associate this IP address with my instance name. Okay. So we want to associate address, and it'll load up my instances. All I have to do is click once in there, and it'll load it up. And I only have one running. Okay. So then I click associate. All right, now I have an IP that I that I've associated with that instance and I could come back up to my instances and get go to the next step. You notice it's still initializing. So I'll come back and, and whenever it's ready and we will connect to the server. Okay, now we can see that the instance is running and it went through its security checks. Now I want to be able to connect to this particular instance so I can install my software. What we want to do here is once this is highlighted in blue, we want to go up here to Actions and you see where it says Connect. We want to click that. And it's going to give us a box like this and it gives us a little bit of instructions. All right. Now, notice here it says that your key must not be publicly visible for SSH to work. So we need to change the mode of Maximus PEM to 400. And this is when we start getting into terminal commands. Now in Windows, you'll have to download PuTTY. I'll put it in the description below, you know, so you could download that. Or you could actually, you know, uh, click this link and go there as well. But let me show you how to change this mode to 400. I'm in Mac, so I'm going to go down here to my terminal. Let me go ahead and clear all this. And I want to navigate to where I downloaded that key file. And if you remember, I put it in desktop. So I'm going to start with a command ls in the terminal. Okay. And here, over here, I see I have my desktop. So I'm going to put cd desk. T -O -P. Notice I used a capital D. Now I'm in my desktop. If I hit LS again, it'll give me my list of folders there. And remember, I put it in Amazon. So I will put C-D-A-M-A-Z-O-N. Okay, and if I type in LS again, you can see that there's my Maximus PEM file. Now I have to change the uh, mode to 400. So... I, I type in CHMOD, okay, 400, and then Maximus.PEM, just like that. And that changed the mode, okay? Now, <clears throat> since
since I'm on the Ubuntu, uh, uh, using Ubuntu as my server, we need to change some things around in this. Um, and I'm also using Elastic IP. But we need to change this little command line around to go ahead and connect. So let me go copy. And let's bring up my PB edit. And <clears throat> so I have SSH. And I use this because it's a file that I'm using to connect with at Ubuntu. And all this right here, I'm just going to take it out and put my IP address, my elastic IP in there. So let me go ahead and bring up my uh, Amazon account. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So I could get just copy and paste my elastic IP. And I get that right here. Oops. Get that here. I'm just going to paste in my elastic IP there. Okay. Now I can just copy this whole thing. You know, right click copy or just click copy on the keyboard for the benefit of the video. I'll use the. Uh, okay, so now I should be able to connect to my server. Okay, I want to say yes, I will trust this. Notice it added it to the list of known hosts. Okay, now I'm in. All right. So if I hit LS here, nothing happens. I don't see anything. But if I, in Ubuntu, you use the command S-U-D-O-S-U. -S and it had enter. And that get, notice it changed from Ubuntu to root. Now I can see my files and folders. And if I hit LS... I can see what's in the Ubuntu folder, which is nothing. So I push CD for change directory, space, forward slash, and hit enter. I type in LS, hit enter, and you can see now I can see my folders. Okay, so that's where we're going to stop this lesson. Um, and you'll there will be other lessons on AIM Website Pro. For instance, if you wanted to install WordPress, I have a lesson for that. If you wanted to install... ISP config, uh, you can do that. So that's uh, this just shows you how to get get in, access the server, and I'll have a list of links in the description below for the other things that you may want to do. Uh, this is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Thank you. Are you still having trouble? Well, you would not be the first. Remember that you can hire A1WebsitePro.com to teach you how to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Just click the link in the description below to schedule an appointment. We will teach you how to do it on your own computer, virtually.